So hello everybody, Driven by Moss 18.2 is out and it brings some nice new features for the Push 1 and Push 2 as well. So let's step through them. First thing is if you scroll in your arranger, I just added a simple drum loop to get you an idea how that is. And if I want to scroll in the arranger, uh, previously I only had the information about the time, but now we also have the information about the measures and bars. And another feature here with the arranger scrolling is if your playback is active. Previously you could not change the playback position, but now you can do that as well. And if you release the button, it will start playback from that position. So nice little helpful feature. Another thing is if you want to zoom the arranger, you can now press the select button here and change here with the main knob the zoom level of the arranger. And also back again. If I render here this little drum track to an audio track, previously there was a bug that the audio view was not shown. So if you go here to the note view, this is not visible. It's automatically active for audio tracks. If you enter such an audio track, the only, but maybe hopefully useful feature is that you can change the length of that clip. So if I long press that one, and for example, press that one, it will shorten the clip accordingly. Here we see our full clip and you see here on the top only this one is a loop so it's actually the loop region the playback region which is changed not the clip itself so we can also enlarge that again and get then uh, a longer area of the clip as well and you can also use this for some improvisation with experimenting with clip lengths so let's go here to an instrument track and on the instrument track let's create a new clip and let's maybe go to a sequencer or why not use first the rain drop sequencer maybe let's use a different sound So just a little interlude to make some music. Let's go back here to the drum track. So for example, let's insert a crash cymbal here and long press it to enter the edit one. And here we can say we want to have a recurrence pattern. It does not have to be eight. We can also make it shorter. But for the sake of example, let's say we have eight. Now, if you go and press the shift button, you can now access different presets for that. You can say you only want it on the first turn or all of them except the first one, last one only, not the last one, and only the odd ones or only the even ones. So let's go for the odd ones and you can still change that anyway. And let's hear that. So you see it here in the Bitwig screen when it becomes active. Now it's inactive again, so it plays each second time. So a little helper to easier create recurrence patterns. That's already it, but some nice little additions to the push too. And I hope you like it, dig it and make some funky music.